Bonnie Tyler sung about it. The Twilight movies took a bite out of it. And we are talking about an eclipse, one of my favorite movies, by the way. Specifically, we're talking about the solar eclipse that's happening this Monday. Yeah, it's one of the most talked about events right now. But do you know what to do to take full advantage of the phenomenon? Joining us now from the Science Center is Kayla Wagaman, <laughs> the observatory coordinator of Buell Planetarium. Thank you for joining us, oh, Kayla. Thank you for having me. Uh, so t talk to us first about why this is such a big deal. A lot of people are excited about it. Yeah, so this is a really big deal because eclipses are a celestial coincidence here. The moon's orbit is tilted about five degrees from that of Earth's. So it's a really big coincidence that we just so happen to be perfectly aligned with the sun right now for the moon to block it from our view. This oh. doesn't always happen in some cities, may not see it again for another 300 years. Wow. Oh, wow. Okay. Oh, this is cool. Well, in the beginning of the show, David and I walked into the studio with these really cool glasses, and they protect your eyes. So they tell do. us about the safety going into this and, and what you need to know, and kids too. Almost certainly. So there are special filters on these glasses here. We've got a couple different styles going uh -huh. on. Oh, yeah. These filters are specially made to block out that sunlight <laughs> they block so out you're not going to see you. anything <laughs> and that's going to be one of the things you want to look for when you are looking for solar glasses is okay. if you see any light through it any normal light that's not a safe pair of glasses for you to wear when looking at the sun you want to make sure you see no light at all and, and and you're going to teach us because yeah. kids might like try yeah. to peek out or whatever. There's Almost another so. way to, to do this. And I remember learning this in school. It's a pinhole. Pinhole projector. Okay. okay. Yeah, so this is one of our indirect viewing methods that you can use here. And I'm going to have you guys help me build one. We've got a okay. couple already built over here. Okay. Nice. Um, you can use any size box that you have at home. Okay. But you're going to start with some paper. So ours... Yeah. This is what we'll use I've right here. already got you guys pre-cut some paper oh, here. Oh, all right. Yeah. You, you're helping us out. I too. am. So we're going to stick that paper down inside of the bottom of our box. We want it to look a little something like this here. Okay. There we go. Oh, okay. So straight Wait. across yep, the bottom. Yep, straight across the bottom. Okay. All right. Perfect. It's in there. Okay. Perfect. Now we're going to cut some holes in the top of our box. I've got a pair of scissors here, and I'm going to let you cheat. You can have my oh, already good. cut box okay. here. I get to cheat. Oh, oh, and you. I've got some got lines easy, already David. cut for you. Oh, great. Okay. <laughs> So what you what you want to do is be able to have you're like you're basically looking at. Yep, you're going to look uh, through one of these holes here. The other side, which I'm going to have you do, is take a piece of foil and okay. cover one of those other holes. I've got some tape there oh. for you. And, and cover one of these holes? Yep, you're going to cover one of those holes. Okay. This is what's going to make our projection of the sun. Okay. okay, so what if you, you know, have maybe the day off from work or school, yeah. a lot of kids are off from school, and you want to go to a really fun event. I hear well, you have something cool going on. It just so happens we do have something <laughs> cool going on. We have our Eclipse Extravaganza. We've got some amazing demos set up. We're going to be bringing out special telescopes. So we call these solar scopes, and they're okay. made specially for looking at the sun. Okay. Oh. And, and will people in Pittsburgh be able to see that? We keep hearing about going up to Erie. Oh, where yes. You're going to see it even better, but we can see it here, You right? can see it here. We're going to be at 97% totality. Oh, really? So wow. not a hundred percent. It's not going to get pitch dark here in Pittsburgh, but it's still going to dim significantly. Are we doing any of this right? You oh, wait, are. We've got some okay. pinholes. Right. And you're going to poke a pinhole right in the top in here. In here? Yep. Okay. Oh. And then where would I face this? Like to, to I put this to the sun? Yep. So what you're going to do is actually have the sun behind you. This is our okay. indirect viewing method. Okay. You're going to look through <laughs> this hole here. All right. And with oh. the sun behind you, oh, it's going to project an image of the sun. Oh, oh so I that see that is really cool. And, and as then, the moon moves across the sun, you're going to see that crescent shape happening inside oh. of your box as well. I remember doing this in elementary school, and we all went out to, like, the playground at whatever <laughs> time, and we watched this. And I remember not seeing it at all. This is super clear and super it easy. Is. And very clever. I'm definitely yeah. going to do this. <laughs> And Very it's a great neat. task that you can get everyone's little hands working on as yeah. well. 
And we do have another method. If you don't have any cereal boxes at home, but you right. love pasta, you oh. can use a pasta strainer. <gasps> now you're not gonna look at the sun through the pasta strainer. You're gonna hold it out to your side and you're gonna see hundreds of little eclipses being cast on the oh, ground. So you look at like on the sidewalk. You underneath. do. All right, oh, great ideas, Kayla. It. We appreciate Thanks, it. Kayla, oh, you're cool. welcome. And I'm sure there's a lot of great spots in the Berg to catch it too. Absolutely. Oh, certainly. All right, again, if you wanna be part of the eclipse extravaganza at the Science Center, Center, head to our website, PittsburghTodayLive.com. We have a link for you right mm -hmm. there.